Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on cryptography and network security lab. So before going to the program, like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel for notifications on latest videos. So the aim of this program is to perform encryption and decryption using kill cipher. Okay. So first of all, let's discuss something about Hill cipher. So the Hill cipher is called something as polygraphic substitution cipher. So you already know what is substitution cipher. So what is a polygraphic substitution cipher means? It is given here. So it is a kind of uniform substitution where uh, one or more characters that is a block of letters is substituted with another word or a character or number etc okay so what you have to know is for example uh, three characters can be replaced with five characters or two characters or one character like that so such kind of substitution is called as polygraphic substitution okay so the different thing about hill, hill cipher uh, from caesar cipher and uh, substitution cipher that you have seen in the previous programs is here the hill cipher works on multiple characters at a time okay not in a single character okay and the hill cipher uses the concept from linear algebra so it's kind of a mathematical cipher so what are the concepts that hill cipher uses are it uses modulo arithmetic and it uses matrix multiplication and the concept of matrix inverses okay so how is encryption performed in hill cipher so the encryption formula is this so this is the cipher text so you can get the cipher text by using this formula k into p mod 26 so what is k is k is the key matrix and this p is the plain text which is in vector form okay let's see this using an example so the plain text i am taking is i and the key i am taking is my program okay so there are there are some requirements here on how the program for hill cipher encryption works so if the, uh, if the plain text size is m the key size should be m into m so here the size of plain text taken is 3 so this should be 3 into 3 9 okay so this is a requirement so why we have this requirement is uh, let's see in the next slide so the key that we have taken is converted into matrix format like this okay and the key matrix should always be a square matrix so this is a requirement okay so that is why we are taking the key size as n by n where n is the plain text size so that we can get a square matrix okay now what are these things uh, these are ascii values okay ascii value of y is 89 ascii value of p is 80 and so on okay so each character is represented as ascii value ascii number and similarly the plain text is converted into a vector format okay so this is a single column vector similarly for as the key matrix is taken the ascii values for each character for plain text vector is also represented like this okay and now we are performing the formula that is key matrix into plain text vector so here we are doing this part okay so simple matrix multiplication 12 into 7 plus 24 into 0 plus 15 into 8 gives 204 okay similarly 17 into 7 plus 14 into 0 plus 6 into 8 gives 167 and finally 17 into 7 plus 0 into 0 plus 12 into 8 gives 215 okay and now 
we are performing the mod operation so the result of this is this column vector and now we are performing the mod 26 so that we will get 22 11 7 okay and 22 in our alphabet is w 11 is l and 7 is h okay so i forgot to explain one point so this is our key matrix right so from this key matrix how did we get this one is we are doing mod 65 okay 65 is the ascii value of the letter a okay so we performed this mod 65 where did we perform this mod 65 we performed the mod 65 on each value in the key matrix so if you do 77 mod 65 you will get 12 similarly if you do 89 mod 65 you will get 24 and so on so the same thing is done to the uh, plain text vector also so 72 mod 65 gives 7 similarly 65 mod 65 gives 0 and 73 mod 65 gives 8 okay and finally when you convert this 22 into the uh, letter in english alphabet from 0 to 25 you will get w for 22 uh, l for 11 and h for 7 okay so the final cipher text that is uh, sent through internet is w l h okay so this is how fill cipher encryption works and for decryption we have to do this one so you have to find the inverse of the key matrix okay and you have to multiply it with uh, the cipher text sorry this is wrong this is not p this is c cipher text so which you got here this is the c okay so you find the inverse of the matrix k you multiply it with c and you finally do mod 26 you will get the plain text so this is the formula for decryption okay so I am leaving how to find this inverse and all uh, the calculations to you. So this is uh, like an exercise for you. You do the decryption and find it. So that's it for this video. Thank you.